So this is uh, Craig Norton with the Optimal Performance Index System. We uh, provide uh, structural parameter testing and reviews for athletic shoes to also provide evidence-based information for consumers and for the running shoe industry. Today um, we're going to test the On uh, Cloud Venture Trail Running Shoe. Um, it is. Um, it has a nine millimeter loaded heel, to unloaded heel to toe drop, and uh, its weight is approximately 10.5 ounces. So, we, the, the next step is we need to pull the shoe out of our incubator, and we incubate the shoe to uh, 75 degrees to conform with our database on all the shoes that we have tested. So we're going to test the uh, Cloud Venture for its hind foot stability, its midfoot stability, and with those two parameters provide you with the shoe stability index, and then we're going to test for vertical support or loaded heel to toe drop, energy return, and cushion. First test we're going to do is to test the midfoot stability of the Cloud Venture shoe. What we're going to do is we're going to stabilize the rear foot and we're going to twist the shoe on its long axis to 15 degrees. The more inch pounds, the more stability. The less inch pounds, the less stability. So let's go ahead and do this. And we have 60 inch pounds of uh, midfoot stability. And let's place that into our calculator. And that uh, is in the high range for midfoot stability. So the next test we're going to do is for hind foot stability. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the midsole under the heel for its firmness. The more firm the shoe is, the more stability. The less firm the shoe is vertically, the less stability. We are going to compress the shoe to 100 pounds. The more distance it takes to get there, the softer the midsole. The less distance it takes, the firmer the midsole. And this will be measured in uh, millimeters. So let's start. And we have about 3.26 millimeters of firmness. So let's place that into our calculator. And that is at the maximum range for hind foot stability. So the next thing we're going to measure is the rebound index, or the energy return uh, in the shoe. We will compress the shoe to 100 pounds, release this lever, and this will travel upwards and measure in millimeters the amount of energy return. Three, two, one. 16.38 millimeters. Let's place 16.38 millimeters in our mathematical model, and it is uh, in the lower high range for uh, uh, energy return. So let's take a look at all our data and see what we have here. The sh uh, shoe stability index for the Cloud Venture is 84.9. If we take a look at our database, this shoe will be in the high stability range. So our structural parameter testing showed that uh, the midfoot stability was in the high range uh, at 60 uh, inch pounds. It provided maximal hind foot stability with 3.26 millimeters. So also this shoe provides uh, 2.74 millimeters vertical support. 
the 2.74 millimeters is the loaded heel to toe drop. Vertical support is very important because not having enough vertical support can lead to injuries of the uh, posterior calf complex. Uh, some of the injuries uh, are um, tight and painful calves, Achilles tendonitis, heel pain, and plantar fasciitis. So the Cloud Venture provides a upper minimal range for vertical support, which should be sufficient for most uh, trail runners. The other important uh, parameter of a trail running shoe is the amount of terrain absorption that it pr produces. If a running shoe can't absorb uneven surfaces, this can lead to injuries such as ankle sprains. The Cloud Venture uh, produces a uh, vertical compression index of 3.26, which um, verifies a very firm vertical midsole. This uh, amount of firmness is conducive uh, for uh, larger statured runners and is not really great for lighter stature runners because it will not be able to absorb the uneven uh, uh, surfaces because of the lightness of the runner. So based on weight and energy return, we classify the shoe as a medium fast shoe category, in the, in the medium fast shoe category. We grade the shoes by slow, medium fast, fast and ultra fast. So who would best benefit from utilizing this shoe? Since this shoe is up in uh, the area in the high stability, it is probably uh, a great shoe for mild to severe pronators and supinators. Because it's got a very firm vertical midsole, we would recommend it for moderate to large statured runners.